Hello guys, Code Forest back with another amazing video. This is the bonus video as I mentioned earlier in the FAQ series. And we will be discussing some hard problems and logic gate questions. If you are new to this channel, this channel is all about educator stuff. So don't forget to subscribe Code 4. Without further ado, let's get started. Before that, if you haven't seen any videos in the FAQ series, click the card right above your screen. This will take you to all the FAQ videos which we have posted till now. Since there were no FAQs for logic gates, I decided to make a video with logic gate questions plus some tricky questions. Hope you like the video. Comment below if you like or not. Let's move on to the first question. As always, the fast paper code is in the left top corner of your screen. A computer control machine produces plastic sheets. The thickness of each sheet must be within a certain tolerance. The sheets are kept below 50 degrees centigrade as they move over rollers at 10 meter per second. Three parameters need to be monitored all the time. The parameters are D, which is sheet thickness, if the binary value is 1, thickness of sheet in tolerance. If it is 0, thickness of sheet out of tolerance. The parameter is yes, that is roller speed. If binary value is 1, roller speed is equal to 10 meter per second. If it is 0, roller speed is not equal to 10 meter per second. The last one is T, which is referred as temperature. If binary value is 1, temperature is less than 50 degree centigrade. If it is 0, Temperature is greater than or equal to 50 degrees centigrade. So the question is, an alarm X will sound if thickness is in tolerance and roller speed is not equal to 10 meter per second or temperature is greater than or equal to 50 degrees Celsius or roller speed is equal to 10 meter per second and temperature is greater than or equal to 50 degrees centigrade. I will explain you how to do these type of logic gate questions. Draw a logic circuit to represent the above monitoring system. Complete the truth table for the monitoring system. Now let me tell you how to do these type of questions in detail. That is step by step. Before we move on for IGCSE science, economics, business studies, accounting, English and math tips and solved past papers, do check Crazy IGCSE. Subscribe and the link is in the description. The underlined words are the logic gates used in this question, but this doesn't mean that four logic gates are used in this question. These words are called the criterias. So let's see the criterias and their values. Thickness is in tolerance. Thickness is in tolerance means that the binary value is 1. Roller speed is not equal to 10 meter per second. The binary value is 0. Temperature is greater than or equal to 50 degrees Celsius. The binary value is 0. Roller speed is equal to 10 meter per second. The binary value is 1. And temperature is greater than or equal to 50 degrees Celsius, which is 0. So here, Roller speed is not equal to 10 meter per second and we know that the binary value is 0 so that we have to attach a NOT gate connected to S so that 1 is converted to zeros. Same for T, NOT gate so that 1 is connected, converted to zeros. Then we have to do the truth table after completing the logic gate. So the logic gate would be like this. As I told you earlier, S is connected to a NOT gate so that 1s which are coming here converts to 0, T gets converted to 0 due to a NOT gate. Then between these we have a logic gate mentioned which is OR. So this is the symbol of OR gate and this is connected with two of the NOT gates. Then we have to do this thickness is in tolerance which is 1. 
so we no need any not gate or any gate then we have to fix a and gate between these two things so this is the and gate between these two things the output of these two comes to the input of or gate then the or gate output is connected to and gate input then here comes roller speed is equal to 10 meter per second which is 1 and temperature not equal to 50 degree celsius which is 0 so here again not gate but since we have already placed the not gate here we don't need to include another not gate so another connection is made between this not gate then since meter per second is 10 yes is connected with this and gate as mentioned here in the question then the output of this is connected to an OR gate and the output of D and this OR gate is connected to an OR gate. This is because here in middle it says OR. So this whole line that is this whole criteria is an OR gate with this whole criteria. Now, after completing this logic gate circuit, you have to do the truth table. If there are three input, the value of first input would be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Yes would be 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. T would be 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, first is not gate. This is mentioned as yes not so yes would be converted using a not gate so zeros transfer to one and ones are changed to zeros so as yes gate is zero zero one one zero zero one one it is changed to one one zero zero one one zero zero the next is t not so zero one zero one this pattern is changed to one zero one zero one zero one zero then we have yes not or t not so this both you have to use an or gate so if two values are one or any of the values one the output is one and if none of the values is one the output is zero so here two values are one so one one zero one zero one one zero zero is zero one one is one one zero is one 0, 1 is 1, 0, 0 is 0. This is similar to addition in mathematics. Then we have D and S naught or T naught. So this would get multiplied. That is, if two values are 1, the output would be 1. If any of the values 0, the output is 0. So, you have to refer this D and refer this line of binary digit and then do the multiplication. So, since it is 0, 1, it is 0. 0, 1, again 0. Again 0, 1, so it is 0. One more 0, 0, so it is 0. Now comes 1, 1. As I said you earlier, if two values are 1, it is 1. Then 1, 1, which is 1. The next input is also 1 1 which is 1 and the last input is 1 0 so the output would be 0. So next we have T naught and yes. T naught is this line and yes is this. So that would be 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0. At last you have to do an OR gate between the last two outputs which you have received. So it would be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 is 1, 1, 0 is 1, 1, 1 is 1, 0, 0 is 0. So the marking scheme tells that 4 marks are provided for 8 correct X bits, 3 marks for 6 correct X bits, 2 marks for 4 correct x bits, 1 mark for 2 correct x bits. I hope you understand this question. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is, 4 examples of optical storage media are DVD, read-write, 
DVD RAM, CD ROM, Blu-ray disc. The table below shows four features of optical storage media. Tick the appropriate boxes in the table to indicate which of the features apply to each example of optical storage media. The features are single track, many concentric tracks, blue laser used to read or write data, red laser used to read or write data. A four mark question. The next subdivision is solid state drives are replacing hard disk drives in some computers. Give three reasons why this is happening. An easy three mark question. The last subdivision is explain why many web servers still use hard disk drives technology. A two mark question which can be answered perfectly. Now let's see the answers for all the three subdivisions. So the answer for the first question is let's see the last feature. From last, let's come to the first. Red laser used to read or write data. We all know that Blu-ray disc only uses blue laser. So, except Blu-ray disc all uses red laser. So, DVD read write, DVD RAM, CD ROM use red laser. Then, blue laser is used by Blu-ray disc as the name says. Then, coming to the next feature, many concentric disc or many concentric tracks. This feature is only included in DVD RAM. The rest have only single track. Each row you get one mark. So totally four marks. The next subdivision. The question was solid state drives are replacing hard disk drives. Give three reasons why this is happening. So the answer is we don't need to get up to speed to work properly. SSDs run cooler, run quieter, data access is faster. These three things will fetch you three marks and are easy to remember. And also it is lighter, so more suitable for a portable computer and also occupies less physical space and more compact. The next subdivision answer is HDD is cheaper for large amount of storage space. HDD has greater longevity for read or write function. It's expensive to change the technology. No requirements are needed for the increased speed of SSD. So that we have completed this question. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is explain why ethics are important when using computers. Don't get scared by seeing the space provided and the marks given. It's six marks, but you can achieve this six marks easily. Let's see the answers. But before that, think yourself. Why ethics are important when using computers? It is because it helps stop the misuse of computers. It governs the computer. The use of computers needs to be governed. Helps keep users safer when using computers. It also provides rules for using computer and helps prevent the misuse of personal information. It also helps prevent plagiarism, that is copying others' information. It that is reference to laws, reference to security. So the note given in the marking scheme is answer must refer to the importance of ethics and be more than a description of ethics. So make sure you achieve that point. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is, a company sells smartphones over the internet. Explain how the information stored on the company's website is requested by the customer, sent to the customer and displayed on the screen. Wow, a seven mark question which can be answered easily. Let's check out the answers now. This answer can be segregated into three parts, requested, sent, received. For requested, the answers are very simple. The web browser is used, the user enters the URL, the URL specifies the protocol, and the protocol used is HTTP or HTTPS, which is Hypertext Transfer Protocol or Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. This has a padlock symbol near to it. Now, the second part, sent. 
the URL or web address contains the domain name. The Internet Service Provider, also called as the ISP, looks up to the IP address of the company. The domain name is used to look up the IP address of the company. The domain name server, which is called the DNS, stores an index of domain names and IP address. The web browser sends a request to the web server or IP address. Now that is sent, let's move on to the received part. Data for the website is stored on the company's web server. Web server sends the data for the website back to the web browser. Web server uses the customer's IP address to return the data. The data is transferred into HTML, that is Hypertext Markup Language. HTML is interpreted by the web browser to display the website. This is the process. And so you get the seven marks. Now let's move on to the next question. The next question is, for this logic statement, x is equal to 1 if a is 1 and b is 1 or b is 1 and c is not 1. You underline what are the logic gates mentioned in this criteria. So the logic gates mentioned in this criteria are AND, OR, AND, NOT. The first subdivision is draw the logic circuit, which is 4 marks. And the next one is complete the truth table for the given logic statement. So here, separate it into two parts. First one is A is 1 and B is 1. The next one is B is 1 and C is not 1. Then after this, use an OR gate to combine both of these outputs. So A is 1 and B is 1. You have to draw a line from A and from B and connect them using an AND gate. Then you have to draw a line from B and a line from C but attached to a NOT gate. So zeros or 1s are converted to 1s and zeros. So here it is mentioned NOT 1. So 1 would be converted to 0. Then this B is attached to NOT C using an AND gate. Then these outputs are attached to an OR gate. So this is the answer. As I told you, a NOT gate is used, an AND gate is used, an AND gate is used here for A and B. Then these outputs are used as the inputs for the OR gate. Now let's complete the truth table. So as I mentioned you earlier, that if there are three inputs, this is the pattern. So C0 would be 1010, 1010. So C0 multiplied by B, that is C0 and B, is 0010, 0010. The next step is A and B, which can be written as A dot B. So it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. And there are only ones here in the last row. The last one is the output that is C naught dot B plus A dot B that is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Hope you understand this question. That's the end of the bonus video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you get instant updates when we post a video. Make sure you comment your doubts in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe Crazy IGCSE. The link is in the description. Thank you.